Hello to all my friends in Wisconsin and to all the distinguished guests in attendance at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, faculty, staff, and students. And greetings especially to the great Aaron Rodgers. It's really wonderful, Aaron, that you've taken time out of your busy life to lend your name to these important and meaningful efforts for peace in Africa. Now, I regret that I'm unable to be there with you in person tonight, but my work as the new United States Special Envoy to the Great Lakes region of Africa and the Democratic Republic of the Congo has me in Washington, D.C. So first, let me sincerely thank so many of you here who worked hard to get the United States government to give full attention to the Great Lakes region of Africa by appointing a special envoy. You know, it was really because of your advocacy that I have this position and I'm able to put to work the many years I spent working on Africa issues as a United States Senator from Wisconsin in helping this crucial region deal with the many challenges it faces. As you probably know, back in February 2013, 11 countries in Africa signed a peace, security, and cooperation framework agreement. And this presents the best hope we've seen for ending the conflicts in the Great Lakes region. And now that I've returned from my first trip to the continent in my new capacity, I am focused on how the United States, with sustained attention, could play a more valuable and complementary role in supportive efforts already underway to help stabilize the region and help these countries begin a real, and lasting peace. This is a critical time in our efforts, and I urge you to continue your activism and continue as you have been, to pay close attention to what is going on in the countries of the DRC, Rwanda, Burundi, and Uganda, which make up the Great Lakes region of Africa. Progress in this region will advance and end to violence with the support and sustained attention of the international community. The difficult solutions must be led by Africans and implemented by Africans through the framework agreement signed in February by the region's leaders. As President Obama said on July 1, during his trip to Tanzania, the framework agreement can't just be a piece of paper. There has to be follow through. The issues are numerous and complex, but with your help, we are determined that these countries embrace a better vision for themselves. The organization sponsoring tonight's event, the Enough Project, Raise Hope for Congo, and of course, the UW student activists, all have done a great deal to raise awareness for this troubled region of the Great Lakes. Your work to build deeper understanding of the conflict's mineral issue has been especially inspiring. Helping people in this region achieve an achievable peace is our shared goal. Thank you again for coming out tonight to show your support for peace.